the Bronx TATPA 2012 tailgate. We invite you to enjoy all festivities from face painting, great food, entertainment, and a whole lot of Bronx pride. Bronx TV, are you ready? Let's do this! Want to show some extra Bronx pride? The face painting booth has been attracting a lot of attention. Let's check in with Orly and see what they have to offer. I'm here with the head UTP cheering dance coach, Mr. Aaron Rodriguez. How does it feel to, get, to be celebrating Homecoming 2012 with the UTP cheering dance? It feels really great to be out here. Um, I have the cheer and dance out here doing face painting. How often does the UTP cheering dance give back to the community with events like these? We've been going out to middle schools, high schools, doing performances to kind of recruit for the university. <laughs> Thank you. And who could have more Bronx spirit than our very own president, Dr. Nelson? And what's your favorite part about the Telgate event? Having all the students out here and, and having them mingle with all the staff and the faculty and all of us just being part of a big family. How do you show your Bronx spirit? Go Bronx! There you have it. No one else has more Bronx spirit than our very own President Dr. Nelson. Moving on, I've always been a big fan of trucks, but a little something different has caught my eye. Let's check in with Marshall at the car show. I'm sitting here with the owner of this 1923 Ford T Roadster, Dale Price. How did you acquire the, this vehicle? Did you build it or has it been in your family? No, I built this. I started it in 2004 and had it finished pretty much in 2007. They're not ever really truly finished. There's always something you can do and change, but I've been driving it since that time. If you don't mind me asking, how much of an investment was this? Uh, three master cards, two visas, and a Discover card. This is awesome. This car show is awesome with a bunch of beautiful cars. Uh, and now let's send this back to Liz. And what's a tailgate party with all the great music? Let's go with Marcos with entertainment. Thank you very much, Liz. Here I am standing beside Bronc Radio's very own DJ EJ bumping up the tracks for our 2012 homecoming tailgate party. We have food, we got music, we got people everywhere. Kids, children, family, alumni, students, and it's wonderful just to give them their piece of music. All right, back to you, Liz. Well, thank you for joining us for the Spring 2012 homecoming tailgate party. Hope you had as much fun as we did. Till next time, go Bronx! Go Bronx. Monday at approximately 8 a.m., construction workers found a body in the science building stairwell. The building has been evacuated, just as a precaution, because uh, we are currently investigating a possible crime scene. At this point in time, we do want to uh, let you guys know that there's no other threat or anything else going on. Everything is basically contained to this building. At this point in time, we really don't know exactly what happened. The only information released by UTPA has been that she was a female in her early 20s. The science building will remain closed until noon on Tuesday. Make sure to stay up to date with Bronx TV for further information. Reporting from UTPA, I am Lisbeth Gonzalez. It's Bronx Radio Live here at the AOK Morning Show here with DJ Rose Rowe and I hope everybody's having a great morning. Did everybody check out Lizzie Lohan's mugshots? Well, as I chose my career, at first I had gone into maybe wanting to be a teacher or something, but then I was like, no, I'm kind of more interested in broadcast. I've always been interested in it, uh, since I was a little girl. Mr. Mann was one of my professors. I was like, do you know of any internships or anything? He goes, no, I don't know of any internships. But we do have Bronx Radio and TV. Uh, who doesn't have a story? I want to see who doesn't have a story so far. I've been into radio since I was 
God, was old enough to carry one in my hand. I used to go to sleep listening to AM radio with my little transistor from Japan. What I want to cover is I want to ask students here kind of how they feel about it, like their okay. opinion about it, because it's, it's like something more controversial. Some people say there's nothing wrong with it, it's just an assignment, and some people are saying, like, no, we shouldn't be doing stuff like that. We started as a club, and we're covering basketball. You know, we're helping with the play-by-play. -play. We're also doing volleyball, too. But then later on in 2006, we started broadcasting on the Internet. We were on KMBH first, which was good, but it was a lot better to get on our own station on the web. That was cool. Podcasting. On Thursday, October 13, the Spanish department celebrated Festival de la Hispanidad in honor of Hispanic Heritage Month. We I concentrate to... mainly on newscast because this is what we send in for contests. We got nominated for uh, best newscast in CBI. So we're preparing for TIPA, which is in March, and this is going to be in Corpus Christi. We're doing a lot of quality work that we want representing Bronx Radio at contest. We're coming down. <laughs> This is where we started, right down here. My office was 119B, right over here. And you notice I still got my stickers up. We had a window put in, and my office moved to another location, thank God. We've done a lot of shows in here. Our first banner that was made by a school in Donna for us. but. We need to take that up to the newsroom and put that up there. But it's the first thing we ever owned as a station. And this was the other part of the studio. Those computers that are still upstairs in Bronx Radio, they were brand new back in 05, 06 when we first bought them. They, they work really well. Everybody's so nice around here. It's more like your second family, the people that you want to hang out with because not only do you learn from them, but they're always there for you. And in anything you need, like, oh, I'm stuck here, I don't know what to do, they're always there available to help you. And what other than to learn from your own peers? We have a lot of students that are really upbeat and ready to work in the morning shows, and they showed it. We had it live streaming on the internet, of course, the first time Bronx Radio ever did that. And I really loved that it was like Monday through Friday and this is the opportunity for them to learn stuff that they can learn in the classroom because it's all about learning about the software, how to work uh, technical stuff and how to work also with the mics and it's just editing, all that you get to learn here. And you're going to be hands-on, producing, even maybe being on the air. They might give us an hour on the air so that's something wow. you want to yeah. be on the air. Wow. This is very, this is something you should strive for. Bronc Radio now has changed. It's funny, we're going to have to do a step up when we start broadcasting on a regular level where we'll be playing definite music at definite times. I'd like to see us playing everything. But I want to make sure that we're following a format and logging our stuff, too. That's really, really important. I'd like to see us go from at least 8 o'clock in the morning till 5 o'clock in the afternoon, then automate during the night. That would be awesome. And we're going to get there one of these days. I see Bronc Radio going to the best that they can because we're live streaming now, and it's only up from there. I want Bronc Radio to be on the air 24-7. That is my goal before I leave. So after my boss yells at me for 20 minutes straight, he tells me to go get him some coffee. What he doesn't know is, I've been pissing in his coffee for the last three months and he says he likes the way I make it. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? Okay, 
I've been trying to make you laugh for the past 30 miles. What's wrong with you? I'm sorry, bro. I, I just got a lot on my mind right now. So, you know, I'm just not all there. Shit. Dude, your headlights just went out. I know. Fuck. Um, can you get down and just, like, hit it? You know, it, it's happened before. It, they'll, they'll turn on. All right. Eventually. Just give me a second. Hold up. Shit. What the hell? Shouldn't have fucked my girlfriend. Love you, bro.